Why did that teacher get fired from your school? He got a female student pregnant at the same time his wife was pregnant. His wife was and still is a gym teacher at the school. High school gym teacher. Apparently he showed up to a hotel room expecting to bang a 13 year old but got busted by the cops instead. It's always the gym teacher. Middle school pay teacher walked into the girls wardrobe and asked if he could watch one of them change their tampon as a joke. Yikes. She embezzled thousands of dollars from various club funds. There were also rumors of her sleeping with students, but the administration never bothered to look into that. Money is much more important than student safety. Arrested by the FBI for credit card fraud. It was a few months after the arrest when the reason why he disappeared came out in the open. After some of the others I'm actually okay with yours. Dating a 16 year old student. He was a band teacher. He also had a wife and kid. He went to jail and is now a registered sex offender. The state of Florida has asked us to. Explained elasticity by pulling the bra strap of a girl. Another one for having relationship with a girl from 8th grade. 14 yo. Hey Susie come here so I can explain the female reproduction to the class. Our new band teacher was a young guy. Fresh out of college. His first year teaching and he embezzled about a thousand dollars from the band's funds. He got arrested and his possible future career ruined for a thousand bucks. I had a teacher with a gambling addiction claim thousands of dollars collected under his care was lost, but school never reported it in and protected him because he was close to retirement. Oh boy where to start. Elementary school nurse was fired for taking the kids medications. HS band teacher slept with a 15 year old. Swim coach left a hotel that he was at with his mistress drunk and killed someone with his car. My high school had like 400 students. One of the elementary school teachers at the district I went to got arrested for making his class worship him like he was a cult leader. He was totally bonkers. I had a football coach like that. He made us call him God. I signed out of the team pretty quickly. He didn't come to parent teacher interview night. The next day. He was late for class and crashed his pickup into a brick sign outside the school. Cops showed up obviously and allegedly he blew twice the legal limit. He called the principal a C as he was taken away. Comma he called the principal a C as he was taken away. Just while he was at it, might as well vent some grudges. Coach history teacher of course. First off some of the early warning signs we all should have noticed first. He showed up the first day of school and told us he was a youth minister and that we would always see him in long sleeves and pants because he had tattoos and he regrets them. That he didn't want to accidentally encourage any of us to get some too. Two weeks later he is in shorts and polo shirts showing off multiple Looney Tunes tattoos. He taught 6th grade US history out of a textbook. Word for word. We did multiple chapters a day and were expected to do every assignment listed for each chapter. This averaged about 3 hours of work a day. In 6th grade, he was the only class that year to regularly assign homework and he received multiple parent complaints about the workload. He would often leave the class alone to read chapters. He would then go out to the hall or parking lot to make out with his girlfriend who would arrive randomly. He was the middle school track coach and thus spent a lot of time in and around the middle school locker rooms. Too much time. He took photos of the kids running for the yearbook. These pictures eventually made it onto his work computer desktop. Then his phone background. Only the girls though. But the final straw that got us out of his care. He showed up to a middle school basketball game drunk and tried to yell at the ref. He was fired that day and not allowed back on campus. Comma youth minister. Comma track coach. Each one is a warning sign. Both is a confirmation. My math teacher was a volunteer first responder. In NY, she left school to help out during 9-11 and was fired for not showing back up for two weeks. Freaking heck. Wasn't a teacher but our vice principal. Essentially our principal bumped her twin niece's class ranks up to valedictorian and salutatorian. The vice principal, one of the nicest guys I've ever met and a truly amazing guy, did what was right and confronted the school board and told them that this was unfair to those who actually earned those ranks. 
Those twins were some of the most average people I've ever encountered in my life and they didn't work nearly as hard as the other candidates for the spot. It doesn't help that everyone on the school board including the superintendent was related to the principal. Thus, our heroic vice principal was fired and it was a shock to the whole school. They tried covering it up by saying he didn't have the proper documentation education to be in his position. Though if that was the case I'm not sure why they would hire him and let him stay for the first two years of my high school career. Everyone knew it was a sham and the local news actually got involved when I called them during lunch. That next football game. NBC showed up and there was a protest outside of the local library. I printed out almost a hundred flyers that read what are you gonna do? Fire me? Save Lightfoot. The entire school was P and the twins ranks were promptly demoted back to 21st and 22nd in our class though not until the next school year started. It's insane how corrupt school systems are nowadays. She had fallen off the wagon and was drinking a lot to the point where it was affecting affecting her memory. We kept doing the same lecture on density in 6th grade science for a month. Until one my classmates decided to ask another teacher about it. From there she went to rehab. If anyone wants more context, she was our homeroom and science teacher. She was very nice, and married to our assistant principal, so she had a little bit more leeway. While she was able to remain sober for a while, she eventually passed away due the effects of her addiction a few years after this. She never seemed like a bad teacher, but she was always stressed to the absolute maximum, always felt like she was working from behind, and generally struggling to keep up. You know, the traditional tail end of the functioning addict lifestyle, affecting rather than affecting, that may have been one of the lessons I missed. Your knowledge on density must be phenomenal. Geeky AV teacher that everyone loved, knew he was a geek and owned it, caught in a predator sting trying to solicit underage girls, the kicker was a spring school levy was coming up, local police conspired with the school district to hide the charges for 3 weeks until the levy was passed, someone substituted his class for 3 weeks, yay everyone was both devastated and p, the district ended the school year early. He straight up didn't show up to work one Monday, didn't call in to arrange a sub or anything. He ghosted the school for a whole week and then tried to come in the following Monday like nothing happened. We also had a 5th grade teacher overdose on M but I honestly don't know if she got fired or resigned. It didn't happen at school. My grade 2 teacher also got fired for not showing up. She did at least make plans for a sub most of the time but we went weeks without seeing her. He was caught trying to solicit a child prostitute during a sex trafficking sting. He was a social studies teacher at my middle school, and the arrest made local news when I was a freshman. Really shocked the district. This sounds like my middle school's Mr. Leonard. He was a total peophile. When one girl ran out of his class crying because he grabbed her butt, she reported him and he got fired. But then so many parents complained because they loved him, that the school brought him back it was a whole ridiculous situation. My AP Chem teacher had an affair with the principal. Principal got fired too. I felt bad for her. They didn't do anything on school property, and it didn't impact her performance in the classroom. Also, the school wasn't able to find a qualified teacher to replace her halfway through the year, so we were all fricked come test time at the end of the year. Not one of us passed that AP test. That's messed up. There are very few teachers in a given school that are capable of teaching AP especially without training. Dating a 16 year old female student. He was also a pay teacher. It's always the pay teachers. I heard a rumor that my favorite teacher from 9th grade got fired when I was in 10th grade because he left his class unattended. Honestly amid all the pedophilia and rampant alcoholism, I like the anticlimax of this one. One was such an unlikable teacher they were asked to retire. One was watching pee in class. One sent someone else's dong pics to a student's mom. One robbed a bank. This one is actually sort of rather sad. Had an amazing, but eccentric, math teacher who was incredibly involved with helping students. He made sure to always cover his bases so there was nothing really creepy about him. The year I left high school, was a senior at this time, 
went on to finish my get, he was fired. Shortly after news an article that he had killed himself with a self-inflicted gunshot. What had happened during this period of time was a student had come forward to the administration and accused him of sexual misconduct, both of them being males. And unfortunately there was no real way to prove a negative for the missing time outside of school hours, so they promptly let him go. Being a gay, black, teacher in South Texas, rough, he wrote a letter basically denying all of the accusations but had come to the grim realization that at his age, his career was effectively over, so he shot himself in the head. Later the student who made the accusations came forward and said he had fabricated the entire event because he was failing his grades and angry. The whole event was quietly swept under the rug. R.I.P. Mr. Ethan, you were a good person who was cut down by other selfishness. Holy crap that's depressing. I feel terrible for Mr. Ethan. That's honestly one of my worst fears. My high school of 500 students lost 5 teachers last year because they all had a relationship with the same 15 yo girl colon. Our beloved teacher, Mr. Morn, had worked there for 29 years without incident and was one of the best teachers there. His classroom was always a laugh riot. He was the best roaster and encourages us to roast him properly. He never failed to get us motivated and a lot of us owe our career inspiration from him. He was fired because he had jokingly smacked a student on the back of his head for making a stupid comment. It was like something out of a sitcom and all of us expected it and loved it. Yet one student, who was new at the school, was culture shocked by this. He thought it was strange but hilarious. He told his mom offhandedly and his mom became the Karen. Never mind that the student was the teacher's godson. No physical contact was allowed says the Karen. He was suspended with pay for 3 months pending investigation then was let go because the Karen twisted the story and it blew up around the school. A year later, teacher won both the lawsuit against the school and libel case against the Karen with her son being one of the key witnesses. We still keep in contact and roast him for getting rich over smacking kids around. Holy crap imagine your son testifying against you for a libel case. 1 PE. Teacher got called out for having erections while watching the girls play sports. Got confronted by the principal, to whom he told it wasn't true. That it just seemed like he had erections because he has a really big dong. The principal, male, was not amused. The PE. Teacher was fired that same week. It would be a shame if he had a really big dong. Omeo. Oh, she wasn't enforcing detention, letting students leave early, or just signing their name for them. She was also the mom of a student. They fired her and all the students that regularly received detention rioted. Jumping on cars, flipping trash cans, they set one on fire, and pulled the fire alarm seven times in a day. I forget how it was quelled but it only lasted a day. Probably got threatened with more detention. Had a history teacher get fired for going off syllabus and spending time on the pre-Judaic flood stories. One of maybe two reasons I'm obsessed with Mesopotamian Anatolian Egyptian history now. Teachers telling stories or discussing about other subjects is actually very useful to students, it's like the sign of a good teacher. He was playing his guitar for students at my elementary school. He had been warned before, but the kids enjoyed it so he continued to play it for them anyways. One day, the assistant principal was lurking in the hallway and wandered to his classroom. She saw him playing his guitar and fired him on the spot. A whole lot of students were crying that day because he was an amazing guy. I don't see anything wrong with a little bit of music. My sociology teacher in high school was fired for throwing a chalkboard eraser at a sleeping student's head. He was a great teacher and always did this in good humor. Obviously not a great idea in retrospect. But we all knew that we could get away with sleeping in his class if we didn't mind getting an eraser upside the head if he noticed. I heard he was fired a few years after I graduated high school, and that kind of bummed me out. Probably deserving of a reprimand of some sort, but not getting fired. It's not like he was a sex offender or guitar player. Guitar players are all fired on the spot. Him and his college buddies invited an underage student over to his house for drinks. They then proceeded to drug and rape her. He still kept his job for a while after the fact because the girl was terrified and didn't know what to do so she told her friends which then made the story spread like wildfire and all the people in a position to do something about it thought it was just a prank. Well turns out it wasn't a prank. 
he got sent to prison. Considering it was a drugging and gang rape of a minor he's probably out by now. I guarantee you he left the state because everyone and their angry redneck dad with a 12 gauge knew about what he did. I still think about this all the time. The assistant principal that kicked me out school for smoking weed. Got arrested for picking up a prostitute. Then fired. Pot will ruin your life hard. The one that for fired was a substitute teacher. And coach of a girls team for grade 7-9. He seemed a bit creepy, and we joked that he liked coaching the girls, and teaching pay so he could watch the girls run around in their shorts. It turns out that wasn't far from the truth. His full time job was in the medical field, where he was caught doing inappropriate things to female patients, some of whom being kids he coached and taught, and he had two sons in that school. This one didn't get fired, but she was at the point where she had a few classes taken from her, and if she did anything wrong, she would have been gone. Why? Well she didn't know the subjects she was teaching, and would make stuff up rather than admitting she didn't know the answer. She was always mad, and we called her popsicle because she acted like she had a stick up her butt. But the biggest thing was that she failed two grade 11 classes. The whole class. Because apparently not one person, including the smartest people in the school, passed any tests. I had a teacher like the second one. Science teacher who believed the earth was flat. She was also a huge B. TW. Suicide. Our principal was escorted out by two police. Come to find out it was because he was caught committing fraud. He would assign students to classes without telling them to make it seem there were more kids in let's say, the art department, so that the department would receive more funding from the government to continue. He meant well but students caught on when we moved to college and transcripts from high school had a whole page F's or withdraws. It really messed us up. About two weeks later he hung himself. Left behind a wife and kids. It really hit me hard because I almost dropped out of high school after two of my friends committed suicide. He was the one that got me counseling, helped me graduate, and encouraged me to go to college. I would not be here if it weren't for him. It just really hurt to know that while he was helping me accomplish that, he did the same thing only a month or two later. We planted trees for him to remember him by. R.I.P. Mr. Woodcroft, you meant well. I think what gets me is that our country is so broken that he felt like he had to do that to get the kids he cared about help. Thank you for putting a TW on it and I'm so sorry for your loss. Teachers at my high school got fired on a pretty regular basis. Principal was a narcissist, but he is one of the rare ones we actually heard about. The school went into lockdown because someone was seen hopping over the fence onto campus at the start of the school day. Freshman geography teacher locked his door, didn't control his class, wouldn't let one of the students back in, and jumped at every sound he heard. For comparison, the sub in senior literature next door didn't have a key to lock the door, but grabbed the handle, got on the floor, and planted both his feet on the frame so that the door couldn't be opened. I think the dude was a linebacker for football, too. He was a wonderful friendly and handsome teacher. This girl had a crush. Some B told the teacher about this girl's crush. The teacher felt awkward and avoided her eyes from then on. Girl got hurt. Complained to the principal that he was being creepy with her. All the heads, which included my father, were called for a beating with him. He got sick of defending himself. Shouted, frick y'all and left the school. They fired him before he could hand out his resignation. When it's the kid's fault is the worst. Two teachers, actually, for almost the same crime. At first I thought they were for the same thing, but apparently not. First guy, music teacher, fired before I had his class, thankfully, was selling sex toys, condoms, etc. to high school students, was fired and arrested. Second teacher, had all of his classes. He had a history of being really creepy, filmed girls while they worked out stretched. Had a massive jug of lotion next to his computer and was often caught by students watching looking at pee. He one time told us a story, unprompted, about how his brother called people about being suicidal, and when they found him he had killed his wife, then himself. He was fired after one kid spoke up about actually seeing pee on his computer. He was fired for that, and only that, was never arrested, certainly should have been. He was a bully, and a creep, however low-key he was about it. There were like 3 computers and the teacher's personal computer in most classrooms. 
One day they found child P on the teacher's computer and was fired. It wasn't until a couple years later did they find out that it was a student that put it there because she was mad she didn't get a better grade on her paper. I don't know why she was using the teacher's computer or what happened to either of them after it was found out. The art teacher at my middle school was known to be very suspicious. I've heard that he would take pictures of girls and touch girls. And adding to the fact that he called two girls lesbians in front of the whole class. It was just very weird. All these rumors and he got fired eventually. I can't imagine how his wife must have felt when she asked why he got fired. They didn't fire him based on rumors. My money's on they had solid evidence against him but it wasn't made public. Kindergarten teacher would dig furrows into kids arms with her long, sharp nails by basically holding their arms real tightly. She did this if she caught them misbehaving during recess. It happened to me when I was running when I shouldn't have, I think. This was nearly 40 years ago. I showed the principal my arm as he was walking out one day and she was fired on the spot. I think I was 4 at the time and didn't realize exactly what I did at the time. Crazy crap. I went to a pretty conservative catholic school. In 7th grade we had a music teacher that pretty much only taught us lyrics to Bob Dylan songs and other 60s hippie music. He was gone the next year. Our elementary school just got a new principal. Frick you Mr. Tepner. Who was on some freaking power trip or some crap and he fired all the newer teachers at my school including my 5th grade teacher. Hey Mr. Deathloff. If you're out there, you will always be the best teacher I've ever had. Apparently he called a girl a W or something similar and they were in 7th grade they seemed like a cool science teacher before though. He said whoever threw that paper, their mom's a hoe. A teacher gave alcohol to some students in a field trip out of the country. They students were 16, 17 and they asked if they could order beer. Later they took photos and it was all over Facebook. This was years after I graduated but rumors spread quickly. If the teacher is being cool, don't post it on Facebook and get them fired. Rule number one of field trips. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.